In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, my dear friends in Christ. I welcome you all to this journey of faith for Thursday of the 20th week in ordinary time. We will be reflecting on the theme, Many are called, but few are chosen. Our first today will be taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 23 to 28. Our responsorial psalm will be taken from Psalm 52, verses 12 to 13. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses. Our gospel reading will be taken from Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bernard, Abbot, and Doctor of the Church. Dear friends, in our first reading for a while now, the prophet Ezekiel has been shaking tables, declaring judgment on princes, rulers, and the choice people of God. Ezekiel has been condemning all forms of ills, injustices, and atrocities committed and calling all to repentance. Today's message, however, seems to be different. It is a message not of judgment but of renewal. It is a message of hope, of mercy, of comfort, a message of love. In it is expressed the willingness of God to take personal responsibility for his people in their hopelessness and helplessness. So striking is the extent of the hopelessness of the people. In fact, the description of God's will to save them is such that cut off from God, they can do nothing. Having brought God's name to disrepute, sold themselves out as slaves to other nations, messed themselves up with fields and idols, adding their hearts, and eventually lost the spirit of God. Most striking, however, is the renewal and cleansing God is promising them. He says he will vindicate his name. He will bring them out of the nations and settle them in their land. He will cleanse them from their uncleannesses and idols. And with a tender love, God professes ownership on them. He says, you shall be my people and I will be your God. The Gospel reading sets another setting to the same story of God's determined effort to bring everyone to salvation. With the parable of the king who sent out invitation to his party, the king was turned down by those he invited. Eventually, he opened the door to all who have made themselves available and everywhere was filled up. But then, a man without the wedding garment was sent out and embarrassed. My dear friends, today's message is simple. Many are called, but few are chosen. The few we are not chosen on the grounds of some forms of discrimination or partiality by God or preference, but on the grounds of their preparedness. Don't let us deceive ourselves or look far away. Our readings for today speaks directly to me and to you. All of us are hopeless and helpless in the face of God and His holiness. As seen in our first reading, we are filled with filth. We have brought the name of God to disrepute. We have messed ourselves up with idolatry and even enslaved ourselves to sin or to other vices. But God is ready to overlook our shame our, and poor and pitiable state and accommodate us in His feast. He only requires from us a wedding garment. Dear friends in Christ, is that too much to ask? A wedding garment. That is to say, we must show some form of responsibility for our salvation. The universal will to save us is not without some individual sense of responsibility. And even with every sense of responsibility, we are not saved on merit, but by grace. Our dear St. Bernard, whom we celebrate today, lived through the challenges of this world with the high sense of responsibility that today is known and, and, and revered as a doctor of the church. St. Augustine it was who admonished us that the God who created us without our permission will not save us without our cooperation. Let us therefore put on the garment of love, garment of peace, garment of justice, of gratitude, of humility, not forgetting Micah chapter 6 verse 8 that says, You have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. 
that we may be counted among the called and chosen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Do have a blessed day.